Today I'm going to show you how to embed AI tools into your website in the form of widgets, chatbots, content generators, and more. We're going to embed these tools using Pickaxe, a no-code platform for creating AI apps and sharing them. Pickaxe is a great way to embed tools that are customizable, fast, beautiful, and powerful. First, let's take a look at a couple examples of embedded pickaxes. So here we have an AI product a niche evaluator. This is a very good looking pickaxe. It basically evaluates your products. Here we have a chatbot that Formic made that answers questions about their company on their homepage for anyone that's curious. People type a question, it quickly answers. Another thing you can do is make your blogs more dynamic. So what used to be static content writing, you can add little AI tools next to them so that people can engage with the content at a deeper level. You can even make entire websites out of pickaxe. Here's an AI writer's room suite that's just pickaxes. As you can see, you can navigate through them easily by just clicking. Super cool. And you can make pickaxes look really, really good. Here's one of our favorites. You know, there's a smart one, which is powered by GPT-4, and then a fast one, which is powered by the faster model, GPT-3.5. So let's hop into a pickaxe and see how to embed it. For this exercise, let's take our Shakespeare translator. You just hit the embed button, and then it'll take you to this dedicated page for managing, customizing, and deploying your embed. Here on the left, we see a preview. You can look at it in both desktop or mobile. Then here on the right, you have all sorts of ways to customize it. A light mode, a dark mode. You can control the width. You control the height. You can do all sorts of things. You can white label it to hide our branding. You can decide to show the picture or not show the picture. You can also control the opacity. This is a great way to help a pickaxe blend into your website. Once we're ready, we're gonna go up and copy the code. And this code will have saved all the settings that we just played with there. So now, let's go embed it somewhere. Embedding it is as simple as pasting into it. It works a little different on all websites, but it's usually the same principle. So first, let's go to a website like Notion. So here in Notion, all you do is go over here, click the plus button, and we're gonna add a new block. If you're familiar with Notion, there's a lot of things, but we're gonna scroll down to embed. We're gonna click it, then we're just gonna paste in the code and hit embed. And then, after it loads, here's our pickaxe, and anybody can use it. Embedding works similarly on other websites. Let's take a look at the popular website builder called Wix, but this time, let's decrease the opacity to 10% for a different sort of look. So here we have a web page on Wix, and I want to embed a pickaxe in that section. It's as simple as going over to the sidebar, clicking Add Elements, and then hit Embed Code. Embed HTML, and boom. Now we have a box where our pickaxe will appear. Let's adjust the size a little bit, just because we want it to be a little bit bigger. And now we'll click on it, and we'll just paste in the code, and hit Update. Now we can see our pickaxe has appeared. And because we lowered the opacity of it, the background image is showing through beautifully. Now let's take a look at another website builder. Let's take, for example, the popular website builder, Webflow. Embedding a pickaxe in Webflow is just as simple. Go over to the sidebar, hit the plus button to add a new element, and then scroll down and look for the embed block. Drag it wherever you want and drop it in. You'll then be prompted to enter in your code. We paste it in and then just hit save and close and your pickaxe will render. And if at any moment you want to change or recustomize the embeds, just head back over to the embed page. Another cool feature is we can change the fonts. We can change the font of the header, the body, the labels. We can make them all the same or all different. There's tons of fonts to choose from. This is just another way to customize the embed and make it fit your unique branding. To get started embedding AI tools on your website, head over to the Create a Pickaxe page and make your first tool.